What's going on guys and welcome back to Car Drift Racing. Today we're going to be letting the bald eagles fly with an absolutely crack tune on the all new Dodge Charger. As always guys, we're going to be hopping into some driving clips while I talk a little bit about the car, how I tuned it and how I like to drive it, and then I'm going to give you guys the tune so you can try it out for yourself. As always guys, if you do enjoy the video, feel free to leave a like down below, subscribe if you haven't already for more Car X content, and I'll see you guys in the gameplay. All right, guys, so here we are on the Dodge Charger. These clips are actually from our Twitch stream, so if you're looking to drive with us, there's links in the description down below. And I have to say, although I'm not really a fan of this car in real life, this has quickly become one of my favorite tunes in the game. The car's super heavy, but that makes it super smooth. It holds an absolute crazy amount of angle with the longer wheelbase, and it still has plenty of power if you need it. I find this car to inspire more confidence than just about any other tune in the game, so I highly recommend checking this car out if you guys haven't already. So here we are with the tune for the Charger, guys. As always, feel free to copy the settings down exactly as you see them. I had a few people ask me to go a little slower, so I'm gonna kind of talk about each setting as I go through them. So we got six centimeters front and rear for the spring length. We got 147 kilo, kilo newton meters. I don't even know what that is, uh, but we got 147 up front and 91 in the rear for our stiffness. I did mess with the quick tightening settings a little bit just to stiffen the car up a tiny bit. Uh, we got 50, 20, and 44, 30. Uh, the next couple settings are gonna remain stock, 6,000 uh, front and rear, 7,800 and 5,500, as well as retraction, both 8,000 and 8,500. Our front toe is one all the way up. That is uh, courtesy of H tray i do like that toe setting a lot and i like to run negative one degree or so in the rear we got a pretty standard six degrees of camber up front and a little more than usual with three in the back our front roll is a little stiffer than our rear with 10 and 5 our caster's down around the six mark at 5.7 our ackerman's 26 and we got of course max steering angle as always our wheels were running 21s with 285s running 150 up front and 120 in the rear for tire pressure 100 100 for adhesion as always our track is five and our base is two to get those wheels to fit nice and flush and then we got a 30 30 front and rear profile i did have the car up to a 35 front profile it's it's pretty good that way i know it probably looks a little jank but you guys can try it if you want. Our engine, we got the tune all the way up. We got our max torque almost all the way down. Our rev limiter all the way up. Turbocharger, of course, because why not? And then we got the boost all the way up as well. Having this max torque down, guys, means that you're making your torque a little bit earlier in the power curve, and I find that to be really helpful for drifting. Transmission, our diff is locked as always, and I believe these are stock gears all the way through. Uh, whatever they are, they're great. I'm not gonna mess with them. Uh, if they are stock, just try them. Trust me, they're gonna be, they're great. Lots of great people say these are the best gears. And then we got, uh, and then we got our brakes here too. Uh, a little bit more brake torque than we're used to. It is a very heavy car, guys. So I think it comes in handy. Uh, we got 59 for our brake bias is pretty close. And then uh, our ABS and our launch control are off. So that is it, guys. Of course, try the tune out. Let me know what you think down in the comments below. This is an ultimate setup for those of you guys who are wondering. I had a few people ask. I always run ultimate. And I think that's it, guys. If you made it this far, I seriously appreciate it. Make sure to leave a like down below if you do enjoy the tune or the video subscribe if you haven't already for more car x content and i'll see you guys in the next one peace